Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Goddess Power Tarot. So I'm going to be doing some love messages for each sign for Valentine's Day. Um, they'll be short, quick, sweet little messages. Well, I don't know how sweet, but short, quick messages coming through. Um, so two things I want to tell you. If you, I have a discount that I'm running on personal video readings from February 14th through the end of the month. So, um, 50% off. The link is below if you would like to get it. Uh, the reading will be delivered within 24 hours. And also, um, I have new cards that I have made up. Um, they are Rider Weight. Okay, I'm going to be using these. If you would like to purchase this deck, I'll also put a link below. You can send me an email and let me know if you would like to purchase the deck for yourself as well. Especially if you're getting started with Tarot. And it's just a fun little thing. And I'll, I will sign the deck uh, once before I deliver it to you. Okay, so let's get started with your Valentine messages. We're going to start with Aries to see what somebody that you could be dealing with or what messages are that are coming forward for you okay so we'll start with Aries so Aries okay you have the ten of cups beautiful so this is an energy of if you have someone that you're dealing with I feel like this person is this is like a wish for them this is something I feel like that they want with you they want this family uh, life, this this happy home, this emotional fulfillment. You may be feeling this already in connection with a particular person. You could also be meeting someone new who is looking for this. So if you are currently dating or meeting people, um, you may meet someone who is, be careful, this person could already be married. But if they are not, then the energy here is that this is what they're looking for, marriage, home, family. Okay. So let's move on to Taurus. What is the message for Taurus for Valentine's Day? Okay, you have the High Priestess. Okay, Taurus. So there is an energy of some secrets being kept. And I'm going to clarify this because it is... A major arcana card here so let's clarify okay the five of pentacles there's someone who's feeling quite lonely at this time someone you could be connected to this could also be you could be connected to a Virgo it doesn't have to be um, but this person is feeling left out in the cold they're feeling lonely they're missing you they uh, want to reach out to you, but they are keeping that a secret. They're not saying anything to anyone right now. They're trying to figure out what to do. So this is definitely for, for those of you that have an estranged connection with someone at this time. This could also be as far as you singles who don't have anyone. There could be someone that you may meet who is just coming through some type of a recovering from something, but they're feeling quite lost. They're feeling, um, I, I was just picking up someone who's recently out of a hospital or out of, um, in some type of recovery type of situation, if you know what I mean. And they're, some of you, this could be someone who's like in a poverty position as well and could come off as a little leechy, maybe. So be careful. This is someone new that you meet. They may be keeping, they're keeping some type of a secret. Okay, Tara. So we'll move on now to Gemini. What is the message for Gemini? Okay, Gemini, you have the chariot. This is also the cancer card. And I'll clarify that as well. So I do see some direct movement coming towards you for some of you. This could be in connection to a cancer. If not, they're, uh, if it's someone you know and they're not a cancer, they could just have it somewhere in their chart. But there's travel here. So 
Oh, and then you also have the tower. So there's some type of shocking event that's coming and it could have something to do with someone coming to see you or uh, coming to visit you. Then we also have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is connected to your family as well or a family situation. It's just connected to there may be some type of illegal inheritance trust issue in connection with someone where I feel you have someone coming to see you. You definitely have someone coming to see you, Gemini. This is going to be shocking news. It could also be some money coming in. So you may get some type of a message or, or a delivery um, mail coming through, some type of mail message of some sort coming through about a financial security or a, fi a financial inheritance or trust of some sort. It's a nice little windfall as well. Maybe it's your tax check. <laughs> All right, let's move on to Cancer. What are your love messages, Cancer? Oh, well, there's definitely some messages coming towards you, especially for Valentine's Day, so look out for that. Somebody's reaching out to you. Look, we have the tower again. Gemini just got that. There will be some shocking messages coming from somebody. Yep, looking for a date or wants to connect with you. We have the Three of Cups here. Some type of reunion or celebration of some sort. Dating. Party. Going out. All right, Cancer. That could be from a fire sign could be from another water sign, could be from uh, Scorpio or Aries. Okay, Leo, 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 what are your messages? Okay, you have some type of, um, something's happening here with some type of a decision that needs to be made. Somebody's thinking about a decision or trying to make a decision, trusting their gut, trusting their intuition. They're overwhelmed at this time. They've been carrying a huge burden. They feel they've been carrying a huge burden. Mm. This person is waiting for something. They may be waiting to hear from you. They may be feeling overwhelmed. They may be trying to... Uh, they, you may receive a message for some, from somebody um, where they tell you that life right now for them is tumultuous. And they may be waiting to hear back from you. They may be waiting to hear from you. If not back from you, but waiting to hear from you. They may ask you for something. They may ask you to make a decision about them. And you may be contemplating this. There's an energy here of waiting to hear back from somebody. Okay, so either that's you or it's the other person or another person so if you're single and there isn't anyone else you you may have somebody who reaches out to you and asks you for a date and you may not be replying right now for some reason or just delaying all right so let's move on to virgo Nine of Pentacles, Virgo, you seem to be all focused on your money right now and your independence and being single or doing for you, doing what's right for you. You've walked away from something. Or, you know, there may be somebody who's walked away from you also, Virgo. This person has left you no choice. So if you're waiting to hear from someone like a Valentine's message or hear back from someone, I really don't feel like you will. Um, I just feel like this person has left you no choice. They've walked away. You've walked away. You may have been hoping for some type of reconciliation, but I don't feel like that's going to happen. And then I had two cards that just fell out here. Um, the Queen of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. So this could involve a water sign, male or female, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, 
this there so I feel like somebody is trying to juggle things in their life um, they're trying to stay afloat they have a lot of emotional ups and downs and that's why that that's why that they've gone or walked away from you or ended something but I feel Virgo that this is temporary because to me always the eight of cups is a temporary uh, separation and I do sense that somebody will return they're just trying to figure things out right now or get their finances together so there may be a delay in hearing back from someone or hearing from someone in, on Valentine's Day okay so let's move on to Libra 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 okay Libra two of wands so definitely an energy here of expansion and growth partnership commitment um two people working together i always feel too like this reminds me of the three of wands but this energy here uh, somebody's like looking out for uh, looking out to see what they can have and also it's a card about decision and some of you, you know, there, it could be you're dealing with someone that's making a decision to travel or making a decision to, uh, it could be a long distance connection you have with someone. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. So some of you are connected to Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, or Taurus. Okay, there's change happening here. In your love life so you could be waiting to hear from someone or they're waiting to hear from you and then we also this is my Taurus card the king of Pentacles so some of you are definitely connected to a Taurus there's an energy of waiting I just feel like a waiting to hear about a commitment or a relationship it's in your favor and they feel like it's in theirs but you also have this person who is expanding in their own lives as well they are they are trying to improve their lives their life so let's move on to scorpio what are the energies here for scorpio valentine messages okay scorpio you have the eight of cups similar to virgo so there's an energy here if somebody is temporarily not available walked away the devil card here oh very strong sexual attachment there's also someone that's walking away or trying to get out of an addiction situation sexual addiction pornography drugs alcohol um, or it's this person has just walked away from you because they are completely lost in this world okay and they could be connected to a Libra um, but there's also energy of this person is trying to do the right thing I feel and so if there's someone that you're not connecting with right now or not hearing from I don't feel like you're gonna hear from this person um, there is an energy here where I feel like they're trying to get their shit together and that might possibly be why you haven't heard from them or they haven't been around um, they may have legal issues that they're tied to or they may have some trust things going on that they have to work through at this time Scorpio so let's move on to Sagittarius 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 love messages for Sagittarius mm, boy this card keeps showing up the two of wands partnership making a decision about a partnership and the Ace of Cups, so you've got this new love coming in here. Um, maybe making a decision whether to go become more, ex become exclusive, become more exclusive. Um, having growth and expansion could also be in connection with the Queen of Swords. So this could be Virgo, could also be Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, Sagittarius. Now it doesn't have to be, so don't stress about it too much but I do feel um, there is a decision being made about a new relationship or a new connection with someone so it could be male or female there could be a love offer that comes in from another person about either talking about having this brand new beginning okay Sagittarius so 
That's nice. So let's move on. Who's after Sagittarius? Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn, what are your love messages? Okay, Capricorn, you've got the Hermit card here. So either you're isolating or you've got someone here who's been isolating, thinking about things. Now the Hermit, this is the Vir Virgo showing up so much in these readings. You guys are dealing with, a lot of people are dealing with Virgos. So the Hermit is not a lonely person. This person is just taking time on their own to be alone. Um, they're thinking about reaching out to you or coming to see you or connecting with you. Okay, so there may be some travel, there may be some messages, somebody delivering a message about coming to see you. They've been thinking about this for a little while, about what to do. They've pretty much been, <clears throat> there's a lot of thinking energy happening here. Okay, this person's analyzing, trying to figure out what to do. They've kind of been, they've been alone. They've been alone by themselves, and I feel like they want to come in to, to connect with you in some way, Capricorn. It could be sexual as well, okay? Or, you know, there's a lot of passionate energy here with somebody. Um, they've spent a lot of time on their own, and I feel like they're ready to come forward. So you may be hearing something or meeting somebody <clears throat> who is uh, quite reserved or spends a lot of time on their own. This passionate energy just comes out. So let's move on to Aquarius. What is the energy and messages for Aquarius for Valentine's Day? Okay. Ooh, somebody's watching you, Aquarius. Stalking paying attention to you. They're not doing anything, though. They're just kind of watching. Look at this. Can you see it? Somebody's like, either you're doing this to someone or somebody's doing this to you. Okay, trying to, they're trying to figure out what you're about or what's going on with you um, or where you've been or who you're with. Oh my goodness, the Knight of Swords energy here. This is going to be some type of communication um, fast and quick communication. Somebody wants to know where you've been or what you've been doing. They've been watching you. Oh my goodness, Aquarius. You've got, you've got a stalker. You have a stalker. And there's not much more I can say about that. So it could be, um, again, it could be a fire sign. It could be an air sign, another air sign like yourself. Um, let's move on to Pisces. <laughs> Pisces, Pisces. Oh, Knight of Wands again. Passionate energy here. Ooh, this, you've got somebody here who's like, they're crazy stressed. Crazy stressed. The only way they can relieve that stress is to come towards you. Expect to get, no, this is Cupid's arrows. Pisces, a lot of you are going to be getting a lot of love messages from someone who's really missing you. They're feeling lost without you. They're feeling lonely. They want to come see you. They want to reach out. So you may get some travel. You may get some messages about this. This person, excuse me, this person just feeling very uh, compelled. I'm just feeling they're compelled. They can't take this stress anymore. Um, if this is someone that you know, it could be another fire sign, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or uh, Sagittarius. Um, this could be somebody you know or someone who is, you could be meeting for the first time that they're thinking, of, they're very sexually attracted to you, Pisces, and they've been thinking about you and they're really stressed. They, like, I feel like, I don't know, I'm just picking up obsession, a little bit of obsession here. Okay, so expect... Just because there are so many wands here, which represent these messages coming through and long distance travel, um, uh, this is just a lot of messages coming through. Okay, guys, so that's going to be your short, quick Valentine's read. And again, the links in the description box below. Uh, one, to purchase the Goddess Power Tarot cards that I have here. It's a brand new deck. And also, if you would like to get the discount 
on the personal video readings from February 14th through the end of February. You could just click on the link below and shoot me an email there and I'll get you set up for that. Okay, so I wish everyone a very happy Valentine's Day and I will see you all uh, in a couple of weeks. All right, take care. Bye.